Guru Nation, we're just rocking out to some Korean music, and uh, I'm here with Dr. Al Jazairly, otherwise known as Dr. Al, and we're in your office. I'm here every month almost, every two weeks, and I got a question from one of you guys on CTCAE. They said, Dan, how do you monitor adverse events in oncology with CTCAE, which stands for Common Terminology Criteria for Adverse Events? We're on version 5 right now. Uh, right. I think six, we're on version five. Oh, six, Se five is the oh. current one, but I think six is coming out soon. Six because is coming I out. saw like some kind of template for version six. And Dr. Al told me this handy app that's free, Onco Assist. We've done videos on this before, but Onco Assist. So that's a good question, actually, Dr. Al. Um, how would a monitor, because it, oncology is very different from other indications. You were just talking about your coordinator here coming from a background of rheumatology and internal medicine. So how do you get her, How first of all, how are adverse events different and why are they different in oncology than in other conditions? Because of the nature of the disease and the uh, treatment, this is why, the, why it is different, okay? You have a patient who's coming, getting immunotherapy, they're getting uh, chemotherapy, they're getting uh, target therapy, they're getting uh, uh, Tyrosine kinase inhibitor, they're getting a lot of different type of chemotherapy agent that can cause different spectrum of side effects that need to be monitored. Mm -hmm. And uh, mainly I find out the common side effect uh, CTCE is one of the most important tools that I use in the office with the clinical trial and after clinical trial. But that would help me in managing my patient and monitoring them and at least assist their uh, side effect. But why don't they have CTCAE in non-oncology studies? I think the CTCAE wor works for all specialty okay. because if you look at the side effect, any side effect, right. you type in, it is there. So yeah. you can apply it only for any specialty. It's not only for That's what oncology. I was wondering because it, I've only seen it used in oncology. Because we have the different spectrum of uh, side effect and the grading for it. Right. Okay, right. because we want to monitor and see the grade for it from coming for coming from grade three down to grade two to grade one. Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. What's happening? What what it is and how will help me in treating my patient and adjusting his chemo orders, it's, it's chemo schedule, chemo like this. That's why we use it a lot in oncology, but it's for all the specialty. Okay, so what advice would you have first to a coordinator? Let's say you're a coordinator and you know because i'm i'm monitoring your your site so i'm reading all the progress notes and in those progress notes you can find a lot of adverse events right if you just read you can find diarrhea right shoulder pain random things right so what advice do you have for a coordinator uh when do they need to go to the ctcae and when do the when does the ae require a grade for example, is it always, always? Uh... All, all, all the AEs is there yeah. in the manual and the, and the PDF that you can download it from their website. Yeah. And also it's graded, like if you have neutropenia. Yeah. Okay, so not all neutropenia is a CE. Okay? Right. Some of them right. is just an AE, grade right. one and grade two. They right. don't do anything, you just watch it. Yeah. Okay, and that's what, or, or where you, you go to. Uh, for us, in, uh, even if you look into my our note in the clinic, we do not address the grading all the time unless it is serious. I got you. So only if it's a serious adverse so, event. Adverse event, because this is going to depend on the seriousness of it and what we're going to need to do about it. We're going to yeah. adjust the dose of the chemo, we're going to hold the chemo, or we're going to change the chemo if it is okay. like grade 4 and the patient in the emergency room now okay. or admitted to the intensive care unit in the hospital for one reason or the other. So we need to see if it is side effect or not side effect. So basically you're only interested as a PI, you're only interested in the grading when it's a serious adverse event. No, I, I, I am interested in, in knowing all the side effects, mm -hmm. okay, because I need to monitor my patient because if this time I have a grade one and tomorrow I have a uh, next see. cycle, I have a grade two or three, then yeah. There's some pattern here that I need to pay attention for the next patient and for the next patient and the next patient. For the coordinator, mainly they need to know it. They need to have it as a Bible for them. So the coordinator needs to know every single AE, what grade it is. Yes. I, my coordinator, like even I diarrhea, have, even like I'll go to Onco Assist right now. Yeah, skin rash. Skin rash. 
Okay, what's, one what's of the patients on Hoffman's study is having skin rash. Okay, okay. we kept an, an, uh, an, an idea about it. Okay, yeah. we kept it in mind. Okay, next couple of weeks, we have a new patient and have a skin rash in the same study. So there is yeah, something abnormal here. Mm -hmm. So we start monitoring it and reporting it and seeing what's happening there. Okay. Even something like diarrhea, you have grade one, grade two, grade one. And and all, all the, any, yeah. anything could happen to the human body Yeah. from any medication, it is there. And then for a CRA, because this question I got was from a CRA, what do you recommend they look at when they're reading the progress notes? And how can they find an AE quickly in the progress notes and then know what to Mainly create? for the CRA, he's looking into the lab and looking at the progress notes and everything. So if uh, it's like you, you come sometime you come and tell me like, why are you not recording this low white that kind even it is like, uh, instead of 3.5, 3.4. Yeah. It is as a AA is considered as a grade one. Okay. You see, it's a yeah. considered as leukopenia. Yeah. Grade one leukopenia. Did it affect the patient? No. Did it like that? But it is an AA and we are in clinical trial field. All this needs to be reported. Right. Okay, because if you look at the publication and everything, they tell you like, uh, uh, serious side effect, grade three and four is 20%. Other side effect, grade one and two, Mm -hmm. They listed for you everything. So, so usually everything grade to three, monitored. usually above grade three, three or more is a SAE would be? SAE because we uh, the, we have to change something, the treatment, mm -hmm. hold the treatment mm -hmm. or reduce the dose. Yeah, yeah. Today I saw one with a neutropenia. I'm trying to see it was less than a thousand. Like, so this is a grade three. A grade three, right? This is a grade three. That's mean we hold his treatment. Mm -hmm. And according to the Hoffman study, because you monitoring now Hoffman study, mm -hmm. the oral medication continue the same dose, but the IV medication have to go to the next dose level. Right, right. Okay, okay. lower one. And 150, gonna go to 140. And in the other study, we are supposed to withhold the dose, which is what you guys did. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, I guess the only issue now would be if that is an AE or a SAE uh, for that particular study. It AE could be either or one. It's only like adverse event that okay. can happen. SAE, that the serious adverse event or the thing that needs to be. So ultimately, it's up to the PI basically to exactly. decide if it's AE or SAE. Uh, my, my or the protocol, right? The or protocol, the they mention it, yes, yeah. but otherwise, coming to the discretion of the, the, the PI. Yes. Okay, I got you. I got you. This makes it a little bit easier. It's co oncology is a complicated field. I know people are asking questions, so thank you for that. Anything else that we forgot to add? Well, just remember that as a clinical coordinator, you need to have it in uh, in uh, all uh, all the time with you. Any side effect happen, you need to look at the app. Onco assist. Uh, other than Anko Assist, Anko Assist is not as detailed as the actual PDF. As the actual PDF file? Okay, you can download the PDF on your laptop and um, yeah. find it. Yeah. Control F and you look into the any side effect and it will give you the seriousness of the side effect and then you go to back to the protocol and see if there is anything need to be adjusted. If, if you're looking yeah. at it and you find out that the, the grading <coughs> is uh, merely like... Uh, Grade three and look at the protocol and see for grade three and four toxicity what the protocol says. So you don't have to make a mistake as a, uh, as a CRA uh, and... So that's guys, that right there, if you waited the, till the end, you got a golden nugget from Dr. Al because if you're a CRA and you're confused when you should look at the protocol, when you should look at the uh, CTCAE version five, soon to be version six, um, you have to cross-reference it to the protocol. Sometimes the protocol will list the CTCAE as grade three, as a SAE, grade four. Other times it won't, and those times it's up to the PI to determine. And sometimes PI is busy, right? So the CRA may need to tell the PI, hey, you know. I know, but 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 but, but there is if you gonna work on the clinical trial, you should have certain time for that. You cannot be busy because yeah. this is. If any mistake happened in regard of that side effect and reporting it and everything, 
you're gonna find the FDA in, mm -hmm. top of, in, in your office looking. So if you don't have time, don't do it. If you have time, do it. But in reality, the PIs do get busy. So the CRA sometimes is the last line of defense, really, who's looking like the second set of exactly. eyes that are looking yep. at the document. So it could be a stressful, stressful job, especially in oncology where there's AEs literally every visit is an AE. Every every visit, yeah, every visit right. is an AE. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Just about. You so see the, the 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 charts you have. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're coming back next week for another chart. So thank you, Dr. Al. I think this will help a lot of people. Helped me out as well. And uh, we'll catch you later. Anytime, Dan.